Stupid. Justin and I went there when we went to the Americana. Nice. He's, he's never been in person before, apparently. I'm like to the Apple Store. <laughs> to, to to the Americana to Glendale, the Americana, like to the, like our old apartment area. We've never taken him. No, oddly enough, he'd never been to the Barnes and Noble there. The Dude, he's, I, he's been here like four or five I times already. We've been to the never fucking Americana him. with Justin. <laughs> no, what the hell? we haven't. So I took him, <sighs> and he just thought it was amazing because I wanted to show him where like where the old stomping grounds were because that's yeah. where is the po- are we, have we started? Sure, it? Yeah, we're okay. Going. <laughs> that's where that's where um you know Daniel and I that was our first place that we actually lived the first place before, I ever like, came to LA we stayed with Mark for a little bit I remember in the beginning cuz you guys had... moved there and then when I the first time I ever came to California LA ever to see were those guys, apartments was I the first place I got dropped off from the airport was right there it was Crazy. on uh not uh what was the fucking um what are you thinking? Broadway. It was on, I got dropped off on Broadway right yep. there. There's so many fucking Broadway streets. Dude, the thing about L.A. is there's like four street names that there's like six of them around L.A. So there's, mm-hmm. there's like seven San Fernandos. There's like seven Broadways. How many like Dr. Martin Luther King streets exist? I've seen... There's here, one there, in Charleston. I there, know that for sure. There's Obama Boulevard here. And there's is one there Charleston. Obama yeah. Boulevard here? Well, there, there's the, uh, there's there's Obama, the Obama gas Highway. station. Yeah, in, in Columbia. So if you go, which we, which we went to one time, and it was, uh, it there's, was just there's multiple ones. Did you also that didn't thing, it get shut down? Yeah. Okay. Some kind of fraud thing or something. Yeah. Well, I mean, what do you expect? They're liberal. Yeah. Exactly. I, I would expect them to commit some crime, especially financially. It, 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 there's like three of those though in Columbia. The Obama gas uh-huh. stations. I had no there's idea. There's one in Charleston. Um, there's one in Columbia. There's multiple in Columbia. I think they're on the same street though. Okay. It's a franchise. Obama himself went and opened it. <laughs> I'm done being president. He sat, he sat there and cut the ribbon. I'm going to make some gas stations now. Dude, yo, yo ho, me hearties, yo ho. I've got a jar of dirt. Oh, okay, okay. Come on. Right, you're excited, you're Guess excited. Guess what's inside it. It's not, it's not Davy Jones' heart, is Remember, it? it actually wasn't because it was stolen by the, the whatever the fucking English dude's name because he lost his... He lost all respect in the first movie because of, because of that jackass Captain Jackass Sparrow. English dude. What? Tommy in it. What? English in dude. In it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tommy in it. Yeah, in it. It was. It was that. Uh, I can't remember his name, man. Admiral, butt fucking Christ. I don't know. <laughs> My favorite character in any <laughs> Disney franchise. <laughs> Captain Captain butt Jack fucking. Sparrow and Admiral Butt fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of butt fucking. Uh, it's been now 250 episodes of us butt fucking you guys. So 250 episodes. It's a start of the podcast. I love that song. I think that song was like in the. Uh... Dude, I have such a nostalgia Digimon, for the right? Digimon yeah. movie because in the beginning, it's like that yeah, song playing right. is like one. I think it's Ty. It's uh, Ty or what? The other fucking dude character. I, I haven't watched Digimon. I, I don't. I couldn't since, tell you either. Since I probably still like pissed myself every now and then accidentally. <laughs> so last week, <laughs> not today, buddy. I'm sorry. Okay. I oh, know. Not today. I should have known. But 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 it's been one week since you looked at me, caught your head to the side, and said I'm angry. <laughs> Come on, dude. Five days since the living room, dude. Yo ho, me hearties, yo ho. I've got a jar of dirt. <laughs> Five days since he yelled at me. Realized it's not my fault, but could couldn't realize it's not. Five days. Five days since. Where's all the rum gone? I've got a jar of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck is going on? Episode 250. Yo, woo! Oh, is it? Yeah, it's, it's not gonna be special, ladies and gentlemen. It, it's it's uh, woo, our feet touched, but Matt and I are both. I wouldn't say feeling under the wet weather, but definitely not feeling up to our best. Yeah, I was woken up at 5 a.m. with a headache, and I didn't get much sleep last night. I woke up at woke up at 6:45. Okay, so yeah, that's 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 like. I also have a headache right now. I do have a headache as well, so. Uh, I'm just exhausted, man. I've just been up like if I if I get up at the. Oh, at, sorry, I had a migraine. Apparently, there's a difference. Big difference, buddy. If it, like if I when I wake up uh, at the time that most working adults wake up, um, you know, I, I my day is ruined, and it's it's you know people that wake up that early for work, 
fuck you. You know, that's stupid. I mean, and you, you used to. No, fuck you guys for setting the precedent that that's what time adults should get up. But I think work. Well, then, then they can go home and then see their families. They, they, they can go home and After dinner working for nine their hours, family. Nine hours doing fuck all, who knows what. You ever think about, like, we don't appreciate our moms enough, man. They get up so early, work all day, and then come home. They just want to relax. No, it's like, oh man, I gotta, I gotta fucking cook dinner, do mm-hmm. laundry. You know, it's like there's no fucking, ain't no rest for the wicked. Money don't grow on trees. Got bills to pay. Got mouths, mouths to, to feed. feed. Ain't nothing in this world for free. Mm-hmm. I've, I've got a jar of dirt. I've, I've got, got a jar, jar of dirt. dirt. That was actually completely coincidental, but the lyrics <laughs> ended up reflecting what I was saying. I oh. didn't even consider that. I just thought "Ain't No Rest for the Wicked" was funny to say, and then did you hear that there's a new season season of uh, Sea of Thieves coming out? No, I didn't. It's crazy. J- Jack Sparrow's in it. Davy Jones. Jack Sparrow, a Tucker? No, no, no. Just regular Jack. But Johnny Depp. I'd love to see Jackson. Cosplay Except Johnny Depp Jack isn't. Isn't um. He's not voicing Jack Sparrow. I don't. I don't believe. It's too expensive, so. man. And I don't think Bill Nye is is voicing Davy Jones. Oh, seriously, they couldn't get him back. Mm-mm. Damn. Yeah, man. He ever since he became a liberal, man, he's gone off the rockers. Bill Nye or. Bill, both, ah. but especially Bill Nye. Remember that? Bill Nye's awesome. I love him as an actor. No, Bill Bill Nye. We do. We have this every time we discuss this. You forget that there's also an actor named Bill Nye. I thought that you. Okay, I thought you were making a not, joke. Not the this science whole guy. Whole time that Bill Nye, the science guy, played Davy Jones. No. So I was yes, Andy, it like, oh yeah, Bill Nye, the science guy. No, the other Bill Nye. I, for, I forgot. One yeah, hundred souls. There's, there's, there's another you know, Bill Nye. That guy. Yeah. yeah. Forgot there was another one. I always curse you, Jack Sparrow. The prosthetics are good, and and the uh, CGI. Is it? No, it was real. All of it. They got stem cells. They put they actually... dots on his face. Well, no, they got stem cells uh, a couple months before they started shooting. They they actually grew the tentacles out of his face. I'm serious. I'm going to spread your butt cheeks, Jack Sparrow. Oh, please don't do I can't. I was going to do his voice. I can't. It's, like, it's very um, like. Please don't. I don't know. <laughs> You're dancing right there. Well, that's Jack Sparrow. You know, he's yeah. doing like the. He, he is oh, very, well, he's very flamboyant, isn't he? Yeah. Bisexual icon. Jack Sparrow. He's Jack, Jack Sparrow canonically is bisexual. He definitely, he definitely had his share of men and women. Yeah, I mean, you could tell. And all, and all those in between. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I mean, those, those, those crab dudes. You yes. Know? Yeah, exactly. The, like, the ocean crawlers. Is that what they're called? I don't know. No, that's what they're, uh, one of them's being called in the Sea of Thieves. Those guys are so cool. They're adding three new enemy types into Sea of Thieves. <laughs> three new ones, Matt. Trace? Trace Nuevos? They're adding sirens, which are evil mermaids. Oh, yeah, they call the men into this. I've, I've, read, I've read the Odyssey. Oh, yeah, and they also, uh, I bet you they're going to sing to us, too. Yeah. Watch it. They're going to sing. They're going to Oh, I hope so. Big ass fucking titties. I'm waiting. Just, just, just bobbing around in the water. They're also adding specters, which are like ghost motherfuckers. And then they're adding motherfucking ocean crawlers, which is like there's this giant crab tanky one. There's this smaller one that has like an electric eel on his arm. There's this one like clam dude who like has a cloud of poison around him or some shit. Oh, cloud of poison. Fuck. I I mean, I guess that's what it's all speculation due to what I saw in the trailer and shit. That's sick, man. But it's. I'm excited because right now all we've all you've had to fight are in terms of just regular enemies, which are what's being added, just more kind of like of the smaller enemies because they have the Meg, the Kraken, and that shit. But we've only had like skeletons, and that's it. You're just fighting skeletons the whole time. Different types of skeletons. I saw enough of that in Sp- Spy Kids too. Gold skeletons, um, coral skeletons, regular skeletons. Uh, ghost skeletons, yeah. Oh, in different colors too. What? Like pink, purple, the green. I think it's and, like, and there's also um, uh, uh, reef or like I guess like uh, the seaweed skeletons, which get stronger when they when they get in the water. Damn. Okay. So it's like, I I do what I really do like is variety of the same character. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I think that's kind of cool. They also have skeleton captains and then skeleton like bosses. What? Really? Yeah. I love skeletons, dude. It's, the skeletons are great. I would love for them to add a skeleton curse in the game because you can earn curses. I'm looking at you right now and I'm I'm realizing that tech, like I'm looking at you. I see you. How excited I am. Well, well, technically right now, you're just a fucking like 
the what you're looking at me doing all this emotion and shit it's a skeleton like yeah. just just ignore me and imagine just the fucking skeleton right now doing all and this you know what's controlling it that slug in our head that fucking alien shit dude that thing's like a fucking like it's like a blob of fucking dude have you ever seen what, what just the fucking nervous system looks like yeah without like anything else that's us. It, it looks like a like a terrifying floating deep sea creature that found its way to the surface and decided to stay here. Dude, uh, you you are just the fucking that and that fucking tail. But the, the same spinal cord. Same thing with every other animal cuz at first like I thought about it like, "Oh, that's so true." But then you think like every other animal it's kind of the same. I mean, of, unless not you get jellyfish. To, like, not jellyfish or like insects and shit like that. Insects have brains. No, but it's not like the same it, it's not like a small like what we have. Was an insect, right? Well, insects have meat, so it's like the, well, they're protein, yeah. I mean, you know what's weird? Insects like they're crunchy, you know, they're like small, but like even a mosquito has like a cardiovascular system, just on a super small scale. Let's see. Oh my god! Wait, Wait scientists study animal brains. I'm do trying. You think, I'm trying to look. Speaking of deep sea, do you think that there are like le- leviathans? Like, at the bottom of the fucking Pacific, South Pacific, like, fucking, like, three miles deep, like, massive-ass fucking... We know more about the surface of the moon than the ocean. That is true, but then we're talking about, like, apex predators. And apex predators make themselves known. We all or, know sharks. We all know orcas. We know crocodiles. We know lions. It's, be, it's We know, you know, any big cat, bears. Apex predators make their presence known because they have control over an area. And I would find it odd that we haven't detected an apex predator, especially since if you were one, you would be plentiful. What about ancient, and to be that big? You ancient have to leviathans eat a shit that ton. sit and just sleep for hibernation for hundreds of it's years. It's possible, and I and I and I'm waiting. Like I got excited. <laughs> That's a good one. I, I got really excited uh, when I saw like a giant squid. Like they actually took a photograph and like video of that the was first in our time. lifetime. Because I, yeah. I I remember when, when they were just myths. I remember looking them up. Does and, the giant squid exist? Or it was like it does, but there's no pictures or videos except yep. for like dead ones that washed up. And now, like you know, you can see actual videos. It's insane. Yeah, that's cool. And what is it? We've I think it was Justin who told me this. I don't remember the actual number, but it's like we have figured out like point zero something or point something percent of the actual life in the ocean it, or all life on the planet in general. Probably we've only mapped like explored like two percent of the ocean. Same same with the human genome, like that, like your actual like the DNA. We know like it's like point one percent of it. Well, James Cameron went to the bottom of the Mariana Trench by, by, by himself. He did do that. Mm-hmm. Was he really by himself? I don't know. I mean, it, did it, he learn to fucking pilot that sub? Where they're like, all right, he got James. obsessed. He was got it, obsessed. Was it like a PR thing where they're like, all right, we'll control it from up here. You just go and come back. Like you just get in, James. Or was he like, all right, I'm gonna fucking. I, I think I I want to believe that James Cameron was doing it in a way that like if you're a bill like, you know how. Like for me, something I got interested in recently was a motorcycle. And so I did a bunch of research and then I finally got a motorcycle. But for like a billionaire, for them, they're they're like, I want to go to the bottom of the ocean. And they can actually do that. Right. So like he may have like researched like, oh, who's been to the bottom of the – oh, they use these shitty submarines? Man, I have fucking million – okay, he's not a billionaire. I don't know if he is. He's probably a hundred millionaire. It doesn't even matter at that point. You know, he has a lot of money. He's got fucking nine digits in his bank account. He's like, I can can build some shit like this. Technology's pretty epic. He's like, I'm going to do it. He can be like, I can can pay people and then then do it. Then the other side of that is it could have been that. Or it could have been that, like, he sees himself as this, like, super important, like, figure, which he is. He is, but I get not I've the just sense heard of like a, he's like a pretentious dick well, he, he, through the grapevine. I would imagine people like that are, you know, it's like, yeah, I made Titanic and Avatar. I mean, it's just like, I mean... Elon Musk. I mean, I've, that's the thing about Elon you Musk. Lo- you just lose kind of um, touch with reality. Yeah, Elon it, Musk is a billionaire. Uh, like by the, he's like over a hundred billion, hundred billionaire, which is unfathomable. But it's like, I, I, I do not like Elon Musk at all. I think that it's. I think the stuff he does is cool. I think SpaceX is cool. I think Tesla's cool. I think. Uh, I think the idea cool. of what I don't, he was presented as at first was more enticing than. 
Oh, the, just kind of like, the actual person he kind no, of. No, Elon Palmer Musk is, is a shitty person. I think. But like in the beginning, it was like, you know, it was. I guess he was marketed as this like cool dude who's He's doing cool whatever he wants. I'm going to do the flamethrower. I'm going to build these healthy cars and no one's going to stop me because I'm rich. And I, you know, he did do those things. That's the thing. Elon Musk, I think has done cool things. And I, and I think that the projects that he is involved with, I think that they're cool projects. Like I think the Mars thing is cool. I think SpaceX is cool. I think, you know, but he's, he regardless, he is not cool. He well, is the biggest ha- fucking loser. <laughs> But when you say these things, like, it always makes me go back to, like, just a lot of historical figures. There are really good historical figures, of course, but, like, there's a lot of historical figures that they did really important things, but were just assholes, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can just, you don't, you can go back to our founding fathers if you want. You can. I would say a large percentage of people that did important, cool things were assholes. Yeah. That doesn't mean that what they did what didn't help like shape something important or it wasn't a an interesting milestone. But well, what I like about Elon Musk is um, how he's so he knows pop culture, in meme culture. But that's the thing, man. He tweets pictures of of Doge getting mad at people for putting their pronouns in their bios, and I think that's funny because at the same time, while there's Congolese children dying in the cobalt mines for the Tesla batteries, yes, I think that. The fact that he is dressed up as Wario in a in a courtroom with an you know do, doing the whole I didn't have sex with Princess Peach thing, <laughs> but that's why like it's so f- like it's all so fucked. Like I mean, Jimmy Fallon ruffled what Donald Trump's hair, and it's like, what are you? Is he not supposed to like house him? But it's just kind of like th- all these people are connected. Like all these rich motherfuckers. Oh, these the entertainment entertainers, industry can act like they pol- can be like politicians. Oh. Like the entertainment industry can act woke and shit, but at the end of the day, they're gonna have Elon Musk on because it makes money and shit. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Like at the end of the day, morals don't matter with that shit. It's all about money. Yeah. It doesn't like. That's why. That's why. Like and money's right, great. It's awesome. I love Pride. money. Pride Month. What you about see it? fucking Apple, Amazon, every fucking company, all of a sudden, out of the blue, like four years ago, five years ago, were they doing all the pride shit every month? No. no. Now it's like right in your face, the pride stuff, and it's like, it be who you are. We At Amazon, we celebrate pride. And then, you know, they make all this shit, well, A, they make a ton of money off it, but then also, then they're like pushing all this stuff about pride, and then at the same time, donating hundreds of millions of dollars to... Uh, companies and and foundations and stuff that actively work to like hurt these marginalized groups, or, and it's or, like, or even just like, regardless of how much they donate, the actual like sh- straight motherfuckers who like pocket money from f- from like the idea of pride in the gay community. Yeah, and, and I see people who are like, well, you know, Tim Cook is gay, the CEO of Apple. It's like, I don't know if Tim Cook necessarily. It's like, does he speak for the gay community, the multi billionaire? That's yeah. I, I I don't know. I just I think it's I think it's gross. Uh, like Pride Month, I think is is a great thing. I just think it's gross seeing um, so many like multi billion dollar companies suddenly act like and just makes just, me uncomfortable. It makes me actually believe that it's an accepted practice in our society. And that's what's so gross about it. It's like <laughs> they're like, oh, this is normal. And I say, don't shove. Okay, hold on, homo. Don't shove this down my throat. <laughs> Listen here, Bucko. Okay. God made Adam and Eve, not, not Adam, Adam and, and Steve. Steve. Bitch, Jack, bitch, homo. I'm sorry, that was. That was. Well, we're all homos. Homo wait for sapien. It. Wait. Yep, there it sorry, is. Sorry, I, I no, did no. it too fast, didn't I? Okay, ho- how about this one? There's this is a wait for a joke. Um, that was legend. Wait, wait for, for it. it. Dairy. Dairy. Homo. No. Th- <laughs> oh, he does not. You don't want to put that does, in there. He doesn't say that. That's not the catchphrase. It's it not. Just, it ends at dairy. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, I think it's gross. As most of my nights do. That the, <laughs> whoa! I think it's gross that these, uh, I don't know, I don't feel like enough people talk about that. Like right now, it's like, Target is celebrating pride. I went to Target the other day, and it's fucking literally like they have the biggest fucking section where it's all just like about pride. And it's like, that. yes, that's great. But it's like, at the same time, go look at what these companies are actually donating to. Yeah. And like, they're donating like millions to politicians that are actively supporting like, Things that Five Nights at Freddy's stop supports Donald Trump. Well, I guess yes. Freddy Fazbear himself is a Trump supporter. <laughs> Golden Dude. Freddy is based on Donald Trump. <laughs> Markiplier is based on Donald Trump. 
it's like it's definitely just it, I mean I think most people see through it I think most people I, I, feel I don't like think most people do most people I, I, I think, talk I think to a lot of least. no like well I think a lot of people do but you got to remember like the general public like, a lot a lot of people just don't see it they just they're which which here's the like, thing why not i buy a a a, a rainbow and, what, and a if, pin from apple i don't know if what they, they if they believe that they're supporting a good cause then that's 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 great you know it's like i if if they're supporting it and everything that's that's great it's also like at the end of the day it's it is a a positive sign it is that 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 lifestyle choice is <laughs> uh <laughs> Is definitely more accepted today the than it was even two decades ago, and that's good. I mean, even not even two decades ago, man. Like, like think about like. Well, I know, like I, I'm I'm talking about like specifically like the '90s era, yeah. like the '80s and '90s. Well, which I was born in the '90s. You were born in the '90s, and like when we graduated high school, gay marriage was illegal. Still, dude, when when it hadn't even been like. It, it it was around th- like th- not even thirty years, and 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 black people were, had been given the right to vote when I was born. So, shit, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so oh, it's yeah. We're, we're not that far from all this shit. And I and I think we you are know. making good progress. And I do think, like you're saying, I think it's great that in the mainstream, you know, like pride and that stuff is more accepted now. Mm-hmm. And, and and it's it's. But you just have to realize that, like, that can turn on a dime with these companies. They well, the just thing is, follow the money. Well, exactly. And it's like, I, the bottom line I'm trying to say is it, it's great that it's being more widespread accepted. But I just think it's gross how the companies use that as a tactic for, you know, sales under the guy. It's like, it's 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 exploitative of a marginalized community. And then what's the, the worst part about it is then they go and they support these politicians and they donate to these foundations and stuff that are against the rights of these people and it's like be yourself it's 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 one of those things where like i whenever i think about it it's just in my head i'm like there there's there's nothing stopping this shit because we're talking about like disney sized oh, people we can't do you know what i mean it. it's like but that doesn't mean that of course the helplessness you feel is also kind of uh, created in a way so that you feel like you shouldn't donate or talk out. Like there, there's a rhyme and reason to all of it. There's a reason that these corporations, they they know that they're powerful. I think the most important thing is just awareness. Yeah. Personal awareness. You know, it's like obviously just like. Just be self-aware of what's going on. You're not going to change it. anything by yourself, but you can at least, you know, make conscious choices in your own life to uh, help also, further whatever this or that. Also, there are single voices that speak for a thousand or a million sometimes. Like, like us. Our, yes, <laughs> we are the... But there are there are people that are well-versed and well-spoken that do uh, kind of put a, like, put a good spotlight on the intricacies of the bullshit of capitalism. Ryan, what? Um, I don't think you should say that about capitalism because I think we should do some ad reads. No, we're definitely doing some ad reads. <laughs> oh man, I'm thirsty. Let me drink some liquid IV. Oh wow, I'm hydrated. Holy <laughs> man, Ryan, recording podcasts gets me so effing tired, man. And I, you know, it's not because I'm using up all my energy, but it's because I'm using up all my hydration, man. Doing these podcasts makes me absorb all the water out of. Whatever scientifically happens where the water leaves my body, that's what's happening. Because I am becoming dehydrated. But thanks to Liquid IV, I'm all good. Make hydration a priority. It helps you feel healthier on a day-to-day basis. And with one stick of Liquid IV and 16 ounces of water, you get two to three times faster and more efficient hydration than water alone. Liquid IV sent us a a couple different flavors. And not going to lie, lately I have been cracking that open, pouring it in my water bottles before we record because... You know, I want to get hydrated, but I want to drink five bottles of water. So I'll grab a bottle of water, pour some liquid IV in it, and then boom, I'm more hydrated than I would be with a regular bottle of water two to three times. It contains five essential vitamins, more vitamin C than an orange, and as much potassium as a banana. Healthier than sugary sports drinks, no artificial flavors or preservatives, and less sugar than an apple. It's made with clean ingredients, non-GMO, vegan, and free of gluten, dairy, and soy. 
It's so effective through cellular transport technology. The optimal ratio of glucose, sodium, and potassium delivers water and nutrients into the bloodstream. And Liquid IV is on a mission to change the world. The company's donating 4 million servings in response to COVID-19. Products are being donated to hospitals, first responders, food banks, veterans, and active military. Liquid IV has already donated over 10 million servings globally. So grab your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code SUPERMEGA at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you get better hydration today using promo code SUPERMEGA at liquidiv.com. That's the sound of me drinking it. Shopping for clothes can be daunting. You never know if things will fit, returns are difficult, and you don't even know what store to start with. This season, though, let Stitch Fix do all the hard work for you. Nice. Stitch Fix offers clothing hand-selected by expert stylists for your unique size, style, and budget. Every piece is chosen for your fit and your life, and it's the easy solution to finding what makes you look and feel your best. You can try on pieces at home before you buy them. Keep your favorites and send back the rest. Stitch Fix has free shipping, easy returns and exchanges, and a prepaid return envelope is included. There's no subscription required. Try Stitch Fix once or set up an automatic delivery or more. You'll pay just a $20 styling fee for each box, which gets credited towards pieces you keep, and there are no hidden fees ever. Stitch Fix has styles and clothing to fit any occasion for women, men, and children. They ship all over the U.S. and are also available in the U.K. as well. M- Matt said that I, I I look like a dirty boy and I need to up my style, and Matt looks so amazing most of the time, and I had to go, why do you look so good, buddy? He goes, well... It's because I use Stitch Fix. And I, okay, I'll, I'll try it. And so maybe it's good that I'm giving up these and one gym shorts because Stitch Fix, I know, will treat me right. Get started today at stitchfix.com slash super and you'll get 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. That's stitch.com slash super for 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. Stitchfix.com slash super. Super. 21,000, 22,000. I, I can't fit this many hundreds. You also band. can't count fast. I'm at seventy six. You're at seventy six thousand. I'm yeah. at twenty two. Okay. Uh, well, there's that whole pile over there. We haven't even started. So let's go ahead and push that. We'll do this after the podcast. Yeah. It'll take a few hours. But okay. Um, but capitalism is just like fuck downright that shit. Um, fucking disgusting. But <laughs> <laughs> like all the fucking streamers and pe- I mean, like here's the thing. You can talk against it. I mean, everyone. You know. You- I, I okay. Capitalism, I think, is an awful fucking system. I exist in that system, and I'm not going to pretend like I don't profit off of that system, you know? Like, I I, I make a living doing what I do ever since Bill Clinton was still in office. No, but it's uh, Monica Lewinsky feeling on his nutsack, but it's like, you know, like, I am part of a capitalist system. You know, it's like, I, I can't, like... Yeah, but then do we really have a say? Is the conversation really supposed to go into our hands? You know, you, is it that, is it supposed to go into, like, the people who, like, are more so... No, it's not our responsibility. Over, but, uh, like, no, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying it's our responsibility, but do you think that it's, like, it's not our... Maybe I use the wrong word. It's not, it's not our wheelhouse to be criticizing it when we, you know, have gained so much from it. Well, I think that... The great thing about living in a society with free speech. Living is you in a can, society. You can yeah. In a society, you can criticize this stuff. And, and and here's the thing, like, yes, we you and I profit off capitalism, but I think that it's We're just entrepreneurs. We're just businessmen. At the end of the day. We're like no, no, sorry, we're like a mom and pop shop, okay? Super mega is got a our brick cookies and at the front, <laughs> warm pies right out the window. Well, at this windowsill. You know, unless Brent fucking comes up and steals one, one of those blueberry pies. Well, usually there's just a big hole in it, <laughs> a little hole. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, you know, like, like I, I'm not gonna, you know, like I, like obvious, like I do criticize capitalism. I do benefit from capitalism, obviously, more so than I, I guess, the average American would. Mm-hmm. But it's like, I mean, there is something to the idea of the exchange of goods for like, it, uh, it's um. Oh fuck! Oh, we're not no. exploiting. Exploit like we're not we're not exploiting people, right? Like a lot of capitalism does. A lot of capitalism <laughs> is based on exploiting people. I think that I don't know. Ask Justin down there in the mines. Okay, well, Justin in the mines, you know, he actually is not allowed to complain because you remember he made that deal with us where he and he's a growing boy. He's a growing boy, but remember the whole thing where we said 
What the fuck was that? Is there a... Oh, I, I bumped oh, this thing. I okay. think it was that. Anyway, the thing about Justin, where Justin was saying, please let me have a glass of milk. If you give me a glass of milk, I will, you know, sign this piece of paper that says I can't complain about being down in the mines. Yeah. Gave him a glass of milk. He enjoyed it. Well, he didn't know it doesn't really parch your thirst that much, unfortunately. He could have had water. He yeah. wanted milk. I asked him if he wanted ice cubes in his milk. Because then he could have taken the ice cubes out and just no. sucked on them. He said no. And he was he was kind of pissed that we gave him warm milk, but it's like, Justin. Yeah. yeah beggars can't be choosers, okay? Um, but he signed the thing saying he couldn't complain about being down in the mine, so let's leave that where it is. Uh, I, You know, but it's like... I, I, I think what's great is that... I'm also not an that, expert on this shit. I don't know I'm much, not either. I'm know? not either, but, but, but I think that, you know, like, I know what I know, and I think that uh, capitalism, regardless of how much you know about it, or like whether you're a fucking scholar or someone that's fucking twiddling your thumbs and jerking off to some some furry porn. Yeah. It's like, which I didn't mean to call that many of you guys out right there. Uh, I'm including myself in that. But but are we as, ca- but we're, we're, are, are we can, we as people today the capable of being better? No. I think the criticisms we're making are... Are important. Are, yes. are real criticisms. And, and I think that, that just because that we benefit from... Capitalism, I don't think, means that you can't criticize it. I mean, do you think the right? world cares enough about everybody else's problems? No, they don't. But but I think that enough people do, and I, I think that when you have an audience, I think it's important to uh, voice opinions that matter like this. I get people might think it's hypocritical, but, I, but it's like you can you can criticize a system that you're a part of. I mean, there are, there are companies that exist that are really well run that criticize shit too that don't like um make make their money all like you know blood diamonds in Africa or, you know, um, dude if people find if, out if, or like the sweatshops or we're talking about like if people, if people we're talking about though. um because you know you want to make it, it they're only incentivized to make more money because they have to appease the stockholders you know we're talking about like sending people over you know companies going overseas setting up factories because you know cheap labor where where they don't have to like actually put up with uh a system that would maybe look more into people jumping off of buildings trying to our our fans people would be pissed if they found out about the super mega sweatshop the the one in the one in in burma (laughs) The one the, in Uganda, the one in Uganda that that we we forced to collect seventeen thousand blood diamonds <laughs> within one month, or else everyone was executed. A good movie, Leonardo DiCaprio. Blood diamond, yeah. dude. If there's anyone in a capitalist society who who earns their money and who should be well respected, it's actor Elon Musk. Oh, sorry. Well, he is also an actor. I saw him on SNL. More like Leonardo the capitalist, right? <laughs> yeah. No, he actually does a lot of good stuff with his money. He does. He does. He he, he does. He vapes though. So I think does he? He should be put to death. Does he vape? He does. Yeah. He's he's very big into his vape rig. Or he a few years ago at least okay. he he was very big into his vape rig. Uh, there's a lot of pictures of him vaping if you look it up. A lot of he had a box rig, box mod. He was. Who does he hang out with these days? Um, to- me. Toby Maguire still? Are they still friends? Do they hang think? out. They're friends, or really? they were friends. They're like super because they kind of grew up in that child actor realm. I always wonder which celebrities that we know like are friends that aren't like publicly friends about it. Because mm-hmm. you know, there's like you know, there's YouTubers that we're friends with that like people wouldn't expect because we don't do videos together. But it's yeah. like, like in actors, I'm like, I wonder if there's people that like. Well, I don't wonder. Like I know there are, but I wonder if like like Leonardo. Leonardo's hanging out with like Michael Sarah and like just no one knows or like maybe because like I mean think about it They have to work for months at a time with these people sometimes So I mean the the likelihood is high that they develop friends. I mean, that's how we've developed contacts It's like through like collaborations. We've done with super mega and then yeah. we, you know eventually You know gain some new friends along the way Twitter's the new Facebook man. I've met some a t- I, I'm, I'm I'm tired of Fucking, did you give Eddie Burback my goddamn number? I did, but I thought... He keeps fucking texting me. I thought that that was cool. But just gifts. No, I know, but just I... like, how are you, gifts? Should I not have done that? No, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not on that level well, with I that, dude. Un- 
I can't undo it. Should I? Wait, should I, I no, wait, wait, wait. No, have, you, have you ever responded? No. Okay. I can say, hey, I gave you the wrong number. And then I can give okay. him like. Maybe I should send like, stop sending me this stuff, Jack. Something like that. Throw them off. I can give him like, uh, like Schlatt's number or something. Like some, some, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, some small fry that yeah. like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Some small fry. More like Eddie Bearback. Is Gay our porn. channel dying, Matthew? Hmm? Is our channel dying? Yes. Yeah. It's dying. For some more ad reads? No, it's too soon. No, it's, it's, it's not. No, no, no. It's called capitalism. All Is right, it? guys, enjoy these ad reads. <laughs> Gosh dang it, I'm just trying to get ripped. And you know what? I sit down, I start lifting weights. It's the same thing over and over again. I get bored. I just... You know what? I... <laughs> Guys, don't get stuck doing the same workouts. Making progress towards the future you means overcoming new challenges. Luckily, there's FitBot. FitBot creates a fitness program that continually adapts with new exercises and dynamic intensity that adjusts to how you're progressing. So, you'll be challenged to meet your goals at your own pace. <laughs> Perfection is an illusion. We want to get there, but, you know, we're never going to actually feel like we're perfect. There's no perfect body that everyone can achieve. But what we can do is continually become a better version of ourselves. No workout is one size fits all. FitBot creates a fitness program that continually adapts to you. So you stay challenged. Oh, sorry, are you doing an ad? I'm doing an ad read, Ryan. Seriously, dude. I mean, you look good. You just came back from your FitBot workout, though. You're looking fantastic. Oh, thanks, man. Anyways, continue. <clears throat> so you stay challenged with new exercises, pacing, and intensity based on where you are and where you want to be. Ryan's able to pick workouts tailored to the equipment that he owns and... The app has clear and easy to follow instructions so he can just sit down and pop off a brand new workout and get some brand new muscles without being bored. And sheesh, TikTok reference right there. You're looking good, Ryan. Thank you. FitBot understands that the path to achieving your best looks different for everyone. They create a program based on your unique body type, experience, and environment, and their algorithm uses data and analytics to help you build on your last workout to maximize your results. Whether you're exercising three days a week or twice a day, every workout is scientifically proven to be better than the last. No equipment? No worries. FitBot has bodyweight routines for those looking to get fit at home or on the go. And it's super easy to use and even has HD video tutorials to make learning new exercises a breeze. Can you integrate your apps like Apple Health, Fitbit, and more? And personalized training can be tough on the budget, but FitBot is only $9.99 a month or $59.99 a year. Sign up now and you'll get 25% off your membership. That's a quarter. Pick up the pace on your fitness journey with FitBot today, and your future self will thank you. Get 25% off your membership at fitbod.me slash super. That's 25% off at fitbod.me slash super. There are hundreds of companies out there claiming to compare auto and home insurance rates, but there's only one who actually does it. Get a better insurance with Gabby. And I know it because, well, I've done it. Gabby is the one true comparison platform with fast, verifiable quotes, not ballpark guesses. Use your current policy to find a better policy, comparing your current coverage with 40 of the top insurance providers like Progressive, Nationwide, and Travelers, all in one place. Use your current insurance information to get started. It's free and they only show policies that are the same or better than your current coverage. Many of them at a lower price too. Gabby helped find me the right policy and it was fast and easy. I just logged in with my current insurance provider information and then I was showed an astounding amount of quotes. Gabby customers save $961 per year on average and they'll never sell your info. So no annoying spam or robo calls. Put your policy to the test like I did. Get a better insurance with Gabby. It's totally free to check and there's no obligation. Go to Gabby.com slash Supermega. That's G-A-B-I dot com slash Supermega. Gabby.com slash Supermega. Yippee! Didn't expect them so soon, did you? But they're all out of the way now. They're out of the way. You guys can relax. And speaking out of the way, um, I don't know if you noticed when, when you walked in, you kicked... You kicked that pile over right there of those bands, those those hundreds. <sighs> you got to count those again because that's at least $250,000 right there that okay, you just buddy. spilled on the floor. You don't even okay. notice, did you? Okay. Well, they're, you know, luckily they're wrapped up in the bands of $10,000, yeah. so it'll be easier to count, but it's at least going to take you another 30, 40 minutes. Yeah. Um, and so, wait, also before we get back into it, you're taking, are we both taking like 30% from the pride sale or? <laughs> 30, 70. 
Okay. We can't each take 70. Are we? So that means we're each getting 35? Well, we can say that... No, we can, we, can, we can say that we're donating all of it, but then actually take each... We can take 50 that each. 101 shit that got people so fucking Oh, dude, jacked. people are like, oh, they're donating money to the gay stuff. <laughs> I think that helped us in the long run. Oh, definitely, I'm trying yeah. to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to buy some more bikes, you know? Well, but I got that McLaren last get, week and I crashed it already. Yeah. Let's, I was drunk as, I was, well, I was high on coke and I was drunk. Hey, time and is money. Let's I was this, counting let's, the, let's I was counting the bands. While, oh, yeah. I, I don't care about what you have to say. Real quick though, in the in the crap in last week's crash, my McLaren, I had cash in the car and I burned probably four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars in the trunk when I crashed. It caught on fire, but drop in the bucket. I didn't realize it until like days later. So yeah. Um, <clears throat> right, let's get back to it. Hey guys, welcome back from the ad reads. Yep. Um. Yeah. Uh. I I um. Poop. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, NASCAR video. I've got a jar of dirt. I've, I've got, got a jar, jar of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Surfers go down at 10 a.m. BST. BST? That's British Standard Time. Oh, I thought First, you were making a joke. I don't know what the B stands for. I think it's British. It's it's probably British, bullshit time. Which is 2 a.m. PST. Probably bullshit time I think. because the British are... Uh, <laughs> That's my impression of a British person. I'm going to look it up right now. 10 a.m. Is it tonight? BST. When this comes out, is it already, has it's, it already happened? It's going to be 2 a.m. In, in Glendale, California, which I don't know. I don't know why it gives me. Maybe I've never changed my, like, shit from when we lived in Glendale. Did you say Glendale? Yeah. It's and probably, we're not even in Glendale right now. Well. Are we? Is it technically? Um, I don't think so. It's like a gray area, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. It's like a. It's like I'm not doxing us, but it's like it's like is it Glendale or Burbank, man? I don't know. One of the two. It's it's that or the Hollywood Hills. Okay, man. so they're they're in the back. Okay, so I can enhance computer enhance. I'm gonna circle the circumference of where they might be, and then I'm gonna go to Zillow.com and look up. Like that time in the shopping uh, vlog when we joked, like, find our address, and, and some of you guys really were like, oh, that's not a joke. Let me actually do it, and then send them their address every day for two months. What do you expect months. when you challenge my Yep. You know? So. They got it right, though. They Oh, they got it down to the apartment. Only number. one person got it right. There are several people that got it close to right, but were down a floor. So. Right. So, well, I, I still don't get how that, there was at least one person that was like, uh, you're at this address. And I was like, fuck, they're right. And they were like, and you're in this apartment. Mm -hmm. And I was like, whoa, they got the floor and the apartment number correct. Based just, they must have found the fucking floor plan of the apartment building. They said there was looking a out the window. outside of the window yeah, they looked there was out the an window. ad for something. And then they looked it up, referenced it, cross-referenced it. And they must have fucking done some crazy ass math to like figure out like. Maybe they should put in that work into looking for a job oh. <laughs> maybe at an Oops. amazon warehouse sorry i just <laughs> oh my god dude that's a lot of blood on my hands right now <laughs> you see how much blood just came out of my mouth oh fuck Whew. oh my god there's blood coming out of my that's a lot too. of blood just let it dry just let it dry it's easier to shower off <clears throat> there's so much oh my god i think my esophagus ruptured just <laughs> just just let it drain out just let it drain out. There you go. This is really eating into money making time. I'm sorry. Uh, push your finger. Push your finger to my throat okay, right there. Hold up. Just let me apply some pressure. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Hold up. Do I need to give you a tracheotomy? No. Yes. No. 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 Okay. Here we go. Push. No. 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 Two. One. No. Okay. That popped in there. Nice and fine. Um. I don't I feel good. I'm good. I think the spoon might have been too thick. Leave it. Just, Just leave, leave it. it. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna pull it out. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay. How's that? That good? The spoon's at it. Just let me uh just let me staple it shut real no. quick. Just uh. <laughs> Oh, okay. That actually fixed it. Okay, Thank you. we're good now. It's just seeping out a bit, but it, you sound better. Um, it hurts. There's, I mean, actually, there might be more blood coming out than before, but I, at least it's it's not like I can talk normally. Again. Yeah, and as I said before, we just let the drug the the dry. <laughs> look at me, the blood dry, yeah. and then it's easier to wash off. Well, it won't dry when it's gushing out like at this with rate. Cum. 
Well, it's rushing out at such a rate that uh, maybe if there was some come on the wound, maybe it well, would dry Well, luckily your body, uh, your skin absorbs stuff, so it's probably absorbing some of that <sighs> blood and keeping it inside of your body. I'm not going to lie, man. I'm filling up like a handful every three seconds of blood right now. Do you need to go take a break and dump it out? E- uh, well, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's all over the carpet now, and it's going down my shirt. I, I, I might, maybe I should go get a Band-Aid, because it's, uh... I'm getting a little lightheaded. That's a lot of blood I'm losing You can losing just right go now. get, like, a sock and wrap you know, Are you cool if I, it. if I just go get a Band-Aid real yeah, quick? Yeah, just get a Band-Aid. Because, oh, Jesus Christ. No problem, out, dude. It's, oh, it's coming out of my ears, too, dude. That's not a good sign. You know, when, they, when it's coming out of the ears, that's a Listen, sign of dude, internal if, brain if, bleeding. If you don't want to make money... I want to make money, Ryan. No, I want to make... Fuck, I'm lightheaded. I want to make money. We're making let noodles me just, of coin, let, okay? Let, let, uh, let me go get a... Let me... Yeah? Oh, fuck, was I, what was I saying? I'm gonna, Something about I'm gonna, losing a lot of blood or some shit? Am I? It looks like it. I mean, you you it's got handfuls of blood me, all over the carpet, which we're renting this place. Yeah, we don't I know own this place. Okay, well, so we're gonna have to get it repolstered well, or reupholstered. Yeah, well, how do you think my fucking Gucci shirt is ruined now? And I'm, I, I really, I'm There's lightheaded, no, man. Let, oh my let God. Me, please dude, go you let it drip on the fucking cash, asshole. The cash will, they don't, ex- they, do you think if you, if you give it, if you give a hundred dollar bill no. to, to someone covered in blood, they're going to accept it? Okay. Literally, it soaks through. It's paper. Put that fucking two million in the fireplace like we did yesterday and it's fine. No one fucking, Jesus Christ, man. It's a fucking drop in the bucket. Like you oh. said, speaking of drop, the blood is going, I need, I'm going, I'm just, just go get a band aid. Uh, we'll be right back, ladies Fuck and gentlemen. Shit. You good? Yes. Okay. <sighs> Thank God that we have the, um, in the first aid kit, we have the bags of blood from oh. the, uh... Easy. <sighs> well, I mean, Jackson and Justin signed the contract because if you're employed under Super Mega, you have to give a certain amount of blood every month that we can use at our disposal because we keep it in the, you know, it's... It's emergency blood. We're let's players. I mean, accidents happen. Thank God that they fucking have the same blood type as me. Oh, oh well, yeah. Jackson has what is it? O positive, w- w- the universal one. Yeah. So we made sure to get extra from him. And, and Justin is just is just is just funny. <laughs> Justin, technically, neither of us. Need Sometimes his we blood. just play catch with his sack of blood in the back. Well, because he has what does he have? Like B positive. He has some stupid blood type that like no one has. So, but we, we told him that he has the most important one, so we took, we take <laughs> yeah, a lot every month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets, he passes out every time, too. It, it, like he, has, he doesn't he, like needles. He needs, like, three days to recover because we take so much blood, but it's funny. It's yeah. funny. It's funny fucking with the, with the boy. It, pu- it puts a, puts kind of a, a downer in, like, the editing process for a little bit every now and then. But Are it, people going to notice that we skipped a day of uploads, Ryan? Of Pokemon Coliseum <laughs> episode 500. <laughs> no, I don't think so, Ryan. Fucking I don't think idiots. So. <laughs> Stupid fucking idiots. Thank you all for watching our Let's Plays. Nice. Nice joke. <laughs> <laughs> They're really being assholes. Being so, are they veiling some seriousness? <laughs> <laughs> We're just goofing. We're just goofing and gaffing. We're just goofing and gaffing and deal with it. Mama's boy. <laughs> oh, oh! All right, you fucking piss babies. <laughs> really tearing into them this time, man. I know. They they need a stern talking to. You know, so I, I, this, I, this this world is full of giving like like trophies to everyone. There, our society is focused on making everyone feel like they're special. We need to make sure our fans know that, look, you're not special. For one of you, there are five million better. You're not perfect. Sorry. That's life. You can't be perfect. It's an unattainable fucking thing. Okay, speaking of fucking not perfect, do you hear the fucking delivery truck out front right now that's put on its brakes and they got to put some fucking oil on those brakes? Cause when it's, you still have a headache, buddy? I do, and that made it worse. Okay, I, I could tell. It was like that moment when we were. Uh, you hear that? Him rumbling his engine. Yeah, bro. You hear that fucking <laughs> brake right there, dude? Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go reprimand him? Say, hey, you should really, you should really fix those goddamn brakes, buddy. Hey, asshole. Yeah, you just leave the package right there. Fucking fix the brakes, jackass. I have a headache. Don't you know? Jesus Christ. Yes. Don't you know? Don't you know, man? Don't you? Well, I was, I was, (laughs) I know we're supposed to be like Canadian or like, like North Dakota. I'm the Jamaican Canadian, don't you know? Doing a Caribbean thing. Huh? I ended up accidentally doing like a Caribbean, like an island accent when I meant to do like a don't you know? Yeah. Don't don't you know? 
like Fargo. Like, Don't you know? Oh, well, North Dakota. Like, yeah, not like Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. Wis- 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 Are you from Winnipeg? Too mad is. Fucking idiot. From Winnipeg. Can you believe that? I can't. I can't believe he did whiteface. <sighs> That bastard. Get me started on that, man. How come we can't do blackface? I did blackface and, they, and everyone got mad at me. Exactly. Oh, but he can do whiteface in a McDonald's and that. <laughs> Don't. It hurts my feelings. Yeah, uh, but I guess that doesn't matter, Ryan. White men's tears mean nothing to the general public for oh, some reason these I guess, days. I guess so. We used to run this fucking country, baby. <laughs> this is a fever dream of a podcast. Will you pass me a hundred dollar bill to wipe my white tears? Yeah, here. <laughs> Oh, there's still blood coming out of my fucking throat, dude. Movies, TV, they were made for us. <laughs> Lack of pigment, man. It was man. a major plus. Woo. You know, I actually got in my car earlier today, and that was playing. And right when I sat in my car, that was the part that played. <laughs> really? Just hours ago. TV and, and movies, movies, they're, they're made, made for, for us. us. This lack of pigment, it's, it's a major, major plus. plus. Great. Just Great because, stuff. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. classic stuff, man. Blomble is classic. Has it hit 10 million views yet? We filmed that in 2015. Has it hit 10 million? I don't know. I kind of just wait for the for the like subreddit or for Twitter to say something. How about you wait for these nuts to okay, say something? Okay. Gotcha. Um, give me a second. Stop. No, don't allow this to Jesus. Sorry. The, I plugged my phone into the computer to charge it. Why am why I What? I, I'm not finding it. Oh, wait, there it is. 9.9 9 million. When I typed in Blonde Boys, 9. all one 9. word, nothing else came up. What are, what's the exact number, though? By, if anyone wants to oh know. Oh, my God. Secret. Less, less than 3,000 views from 10 million. Really? Yeah. What's the exact number? 9 million, 999. Wait, 9 million, 900. Does it really get a million each year? Like a 997. Million? Thousand one hundred eighty-six. Does it get a million like every two years, or is it like has it been a thing where it just gets an extra million? About two million a year. I get, well, if you average two it out. million a year. Well, it 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 was slow at first, and then I think when Game Grumps, I think the big boost came when Game Grumps really shouted it out. Yeah, and then it really got a spike, and now apparently it's been, a lot of people. Not a lot. I well, yeah, a lot of people know what Blonde Boys is, but don't even know that you it's and us. I continued making content after. Well, well, a lot of people know Blonde Boys, but don't realize it's us. There's, there's a. I remember there, there'd be some people that come to our live shows, and they just kind of be like, "Yeah, I, I have discovered you guys recently. I mean, I, I, I knew Blonde Boys, but I never put two and two together because we didn't really show our faces that much in the beginning of uh, Super Mega." And we were con- kind of confusing because we went from Sin to go to you said you were going to do Kids with Problems and then I joined a little after you said you were going to start doing that. Well, and I then stopped to do Prager You for a bit. Yeah, that is, yeah. But that ultimately, unfortunately, didn't work out because I was making too much more. Dennis was pissed. I was mm-hmm. making more than him. So that's a story for another day. But um, wait, what's up? I'm Ethan and I'm 14. Ethan's 20 now. Hey yo, I'm Tommy and I'm 19. 24. Damn. No. No. Yeah. No, 25. Tommy's my age. Tommy's only two young young. Wait, I was ago. I was Tommy's age when we made that. So I so Tommy is my age now. And Tommy's two years younger than I. 37. Jerome's 37, so now he's like what, 42? 39. Or is he like 43? 43. Dude, that's how fucking bad I am at math. Well, I don't know. We don't know their actual birthdays. January 1st. We just knew that they were those ages at that one specific time, which that date was is never... That's true. You know. So at least on the anniversary of Blonde Boys, you can confidently say... But we don't know when they filmed the video. Those Blonde Boys. Oh, that's true. Is there a date thing on the video? When it was filmed? Yeah, like, you know, when we're putting It was uploaded August 25th, tape? 2015. Yeah, but like, is there like a, like, did we put a date on the VHS tape or anything like that? Let me see. Which, if you guys it's are been super, so long since I've seen this, if you're Super Mega fans and you haven't seen it, mm, s- almost six years ago, as of month after next, yep. we released a. We shot it already six years ago because it, it was when I came out in May 2015. Mm hmm. So it, it was into May. So actually, this time six years ago, we had just finished shooting Blonde Boys. 
Uh, let's see. I don't think there's a. Uh, I don't think that there is a date on the. Nope. Good video though. We uh, that's that's like one of our best videos we ever did. Uh, if you go check it out, if you haven't, it's called Blonde Boys. Which it's if you haven't, Psh. if you haven't, you're missing out. Okay. If you haven't, you're a fake fan. And shout out to Social Justice the musical. Yeah. Yeah, man. Enjoy those 500,000 streams on Spotify. <laughs> God damn, Ryan. You know, you were saying something before we started this podcast. You were saying that... I actually noticed it like five seconds before you said it. You walked in the living room, and I, I noticed you looked goofy as fuck. <laughs> and, yeah. and I was saying... Is what the Hooters I, I, I said, what is it today that makes Ryan look like such a fucking idiot? And then I realized, your, your and one gym shorts... We're down to your fucking ankles. And why are they down to your ankles, Ryan? Oh, no. This is sad, man. You have to save that. Dude, we got to get that framed. Dude, Dude can we, can we, can we get those only, framed and put them in the office? There's one more speck of, like, purple paint. I don't think I should wash these again. Wait, is there purple paint on those from when, from we, when painted? we painted Daniel's old room? Are you serious? Can I see? Are you, wait, are you fucking serious? Yeah. Oh, Because I always knew, because I would always have, like, oh, specks God. of purple paint on here. Wait, let me see that again. Now, now it's like this is the last speck of purple paint. Oh my god! The last speck. It's the same purple, you know. I wouldn't lie to you. No, no fucking way. You gotta stop washing those. You gotta. Well, there, it used to be like there used to be more specks. It comes off every day you wear them. You gotta stop. Well, I I think it's time you stop wearing those, man, because you walked in today and I noticed it and you said it. Those are too big on you now, man. You've lost weight. Those, those are you got a lot of space now between your uh, waist and uh. I those always pants. wore bigger gym shorts, though. So. No, Ryan, dude, that looks like you're wearing a fucking like skirt right now. That's a that's your penis. It like <laughs> th those look big on you now. Yeah, they look uh like like not not like there's a difference between wearing like baggy pants and then oh dude, dude, they're fucking falling off you, dude. We got we should get dude, those. I used to be that big. <laughs> All right, Jared <laughs> from Subway, not the, not the one that's a professional. But they used to. F I mean, I would still like somewhat. My pants would sag a little bit when I wore them when I put stuff in my pockets. But like, I can't have no, that. Like, like they don't. No, no, they don't stay different. up. Anymore. There's a difference between like pants sagging and then that. that pants sagging, dude. What? Pants on the ground. You're looking like a fool. Pants on the ground. Pants on the ground. Looking, looking like, like a, a fool, fool with your pants, pants on, on the, the ground. ground. You know, dude, it's actually crazy because last time I flew, uh, they tried to kick me off the plane because my pants sagging. So I went and copped the private jet because I'm the swag daddy. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I've got a jar of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to stop wearing those, though. Okay. We got to get those framed before that goes away. The, the paint goes it's away. The, it's literally the last speck of purple paint. There used to be like splatters. Let me like, let me buy you some new gym shorts, bro. We should get those framed and put them up I'm in the office. I'm kind of sad. I didn't realize you've had those that long. Yeah. I didn't realize I didn't realize that was the exact same pair of N1 gym shorts. I'm gonna inspect these just to make sure there's no more purple. Ryan, that way. That was before we started Super Mega. Yeah. So you've been wearing those since before <laughs> we started Super Mega. Ah, uh, they're they're the classic gym shorts, baby. Dude, we gotta frame those, man, for real. Oh, there's another speck right here. That's cum. No, no, it's purple. What's the, okay, the black yeah. lights on? So it's <laughs> okay. So there's. Let me see. Ooh, is there more? There's a there's a splotch on the butt, right there. Go ahead and look for some for some for some purple specks. <sighs> okay. Might see. need a flashlight. Do you want to use my phone's flashlight? It's on right now. Okay, I see. Uh, no, I got. It. That's not my. That's my car key. That's not my phone. Hold on. Uh, is it crazy to you that I've had those gym shorts for that long? Yes. That I've had them for. Well, I I just didn't realize. These but I wonder, like, did I have? I can't. I don't know if I bought these while I was out here, like at a Target or some shit, or if I've had them before I moved out Where here. Where did these? Uh what did these like? See how the threads like I pulled the string. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, dude, these 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 got some fucking history. The, those are the. Oh wait, all right. So I see I see a little one right here. Do you see that one already? Yeah, yeah. That's the one okay, that, that I, think one. I showed you. So there's um, still a few specks of purple. Oh, and I, and I think I big should. One, big I one. I should. Did you see that one? Wait, there's a big one right there. Did you see that one? Ooh, I think I do. I, I that's think big. Just for the sake of the memory of us, like we need to frame that these. room and everything. Don't, dude, honestly, don't wear don't, these anymore. I don't, I don't think I should. Don't wear them. Because, because, 
noticing that the purple's washed off because it used to be like you, very I, noticeable everywhere. Think think about how many videos and let's plays and just memories you've you've worn these pants through. I think it's time to retire these. And I mean, damn, dude, these are fucking legendary. These these are the fucking legendary gym shorts. I gotta go see like how like at a museum how they uh how they frame something and like label it because I want to get it labeled like the same way. We should. Uh, oh, okay. But it's a Especially for like when when like an artifact when you don't know the specific date of like when it was like when it started, but you know like when it. It's been ended, it's but. been at least over half a decade. Yeah. I think it's time to retire these, man. I think that you should. Well, I gotta, I gotta have, I gotta wear. Okay, something so home. that's that's the big one right there. Yeah. Right. Okay. And I mean, to be honest, man, these there's a big one right here. Do you see this one? Are you are you still surprised that you didn't believe me when I said that that there's paint's two. still on there? Did you? No. Because at first you were like, no way. No, I mean, I like honestly, I wanted to see it too, because for like nostalgia's sake, it's like it's cool being able to see. Okay, wait. So one. Two, three, uh, so one, two, three on that side. One, two, three, um, and then, let's see. So I count three, one second, one second, one second. There's more, there's more paint. Fuck. There's at least five, five, five splotches. It's good. They're fucking getting... I gotta frame them to the point where you can see the most splotches. We should, like, in the glass, have, like, little red stickers to <laughs> Yep. We gotta figure out how... Music oh. Oh, okay. The the, the, here's one that's very faded. It's very faded, but right there... It's like a smudge? Yeah. Like, I don't know if you could see it in the light right there. See that? Right there. You see it? It's real hard right to see, there? but it's... Um, oh, right there. Yeah, that, that, that. Okay. See that? Yeah. So that, that's hard to see. Damn, dude. You know what's weird? That this is the paint. This is the exact material from the fucking can of paint. Made that, in Cambodia. God bless those Cambodians, dude. <laughs> That's the thing, man. It's like like that can of paint. The day that we painted that bedroom before we even started Super Mega, like that was like a week. That was like a week or two before we started Super Mega, right? They have yeah. They have the they have the product number on there. Damn, dude. Let's see. Let's see product number. Uh, or the. PLU, whatever the fuck number that is. RN number 117927 and one. Dude, I'm going to say these and one gym shorts. But you could tell they're fucking used because the uh, this tag right here is faded as fuck. Yeah, from all the washes. And that paint still hasn't gone away. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Bring it back, bring it back. I, I swear I saw on the inside, I thought I saw a big thing of paint. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, right there, right there. See? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's the biggest one. It's on the inside. It's the most clear. Are there more on the inside? <laughs> what a fucking memory, man. That's crazy. I don't think so. That's nostalgic as fuck. Wow. Yeah, man. Go fucking put some put some other pants on. We we have to we gotta frame those, dude. That's 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 memories right there. <laughs> Just like this. <laughs> Nail it to the door. <laughs> like Martin Luther. Don't wash those again though. I won't. Take them home. Take I'll them I'll put off. them in the bottom drawer, which is where I keep my like memorabilia clothes. We'll get Jackson to go get them like professionally framed. Okay. We have to tell them to be very careful with these. That's a fucking relic right there. They are relics. I don't give a fuck about super mega relics. That's a friendship relic. That's a memory relic of like big, big in our lifetime. You know, like oh yeah. I mean, like our whole journey to this point. Those pants are fucking. It, it's gonna sound really stupid, but like whenever I wore them and I saw like the purple splotches, I'd always be like, it was like something that was. Like, I didn't oh, know that. It was like characteristic because like you know if I if I wanted to fucking wash the paint out, I could like scrub it out and all that shit. But I always just kept them and never cared because I was like, I like that. It made me cry, bro. That's that's very that's very uh. Sentimental. I love that. I, I love. I love that you you kept that though. I, 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 I don't want anything to happen to those pants now. <laughs> yeah, we need to. The fucking legendary gym shorts, dude. <laughs> the, the it's legendary. Fucking, that's, 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 a, that's a rare one. item, dude. It is. It's a fucking rare collectible. How much will someone uh, give me for them? If I pee in them. Hundred, two hundred. <laughs> Ryan pisses in these. <laughs> And these uh, nostalgic gym shorts that mean so much to us, uh, Ryan's gonna pee in them and then give them to somebody for. But this means these were worn in the bad gooch smell era of Ryan too. Oh, fuck, dude. You know, that, I think that ups the value. <laughs> Before I learned that you had to wash your penis. Well, the Jordan crack. Peterson book helped you with that. Yeah, but I think that uh, 
Fuck, man. That's. If there's anyone that needs to wash their penis, though, it's Brent Lilly. I'm on Jesus Christ, dude. Like I, 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 I haven't to, seen him in a long. I time. I wanted to stop talking about it. Like he, well, the law. Technically, the the lawyer, the legal thing you sent said we had to stop, but it's been a while mm, since he's. Sent- I don't think. I mean, as long as you know, I'm, I'm sure we're in the clear in some fucking. I mean, Brent's court. dealing with enough lawsuits right now. I don't think he wants to do one more with us. So, yeah. Um, that, that shit is. <sighs> Especially since he tried to do that Lindsay Lohan cover album. Or the fucking. It's it's Lindsay's. It's it's Lindsay. It, it's the Lindsay Lohan thing, and then there's the whole thing with the Lindsey Graham thing, where he's not allowed to talk about it. Yep. Uh, because Lindsey Graham sued him for the during the RNC when Brent was in the same city as Lindsey Graham. I'm not allowed to talk. I can't talk about it. But uh, goddamn, dude, Brent needs to clean his penis. Bottom line, and and honestly, it's it's there. Well, then there's also Lindsay Ellis, which she plagiarized her new book, and it's just literally the same book. And then he started doing movie reviews. Well, he tried with bright red lipstick, <laughs> and was infringing on her image. I'm just surprised he literally like in high in 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 not even high middle school. We learned it's like if you're gonna copy someone's homework, change things here and there. He, what li- is he literally copied and pasted the entire book, and then just you know put it as his own. And just I realize if you're not caught up with the lore, like if this was the first podcast you ever listened to. <laughs> You're going to be just, what the fuck the are fuck these? Is this They're saying like nonsensical things and they say stuff that I agree with, but then they turn it around and then I have to disagree with it. Hey, hey, this is some of the first <laughs> podcast of ours. They're going to be very confused. <laughs> Episode 250! 250, baby. I think that, well, you know, if it's your first podcast you ever heard, it's someone's first podcast of ours. We have 249 other episodes. Uh, go through and fucking, you know, uh, listen to any of the other ones. I mean, the earlier ones, you might have had some bad takes. I don't know. But uh, go ahead and uh, we, we, we if you like us goofing with each other like this, there's 249 other episodes. So Tango and Frosco de Tierra. Tango and fr- Frosco de Tierra. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. To be say, I was going back to my fucking like ninth grade Spanish knowledge, and I was like, Tango, I have, and I was like, Tierra Heart. Okay, yeah, I got you, got you. No, no, Tierra Earth, Earth, Earth. Cause I had this song on my iPod that I got for free on iTunes when I was in like sixth grade on my iPod Shuffle called like Tierra de Madre. Fuck. I can see if I can find that song. Anyway, uh, let's uh, what do you say we uh? Put a bookmark in it here and uh, pick it up next week for two fifty one. <laughs> Sorry, I was I was about to try to say I have a jar of dirt and Chinese. Hold up. You're scared. You're scared. It's gonna sound racist if you do it. I, I, I Would think you like to try. I'll try. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and no, I, no. it's only racist no, if you're no, no. belittling the, like, like you're actually genuinely trying to speak it in Chinese, so go I'm, ahead and try. I'll I'm try gonna, too. No, I'll, I'll give you one that I actually want you to try. Okay. Okay. You want me to... All right, so I have a jar of Because I don't think I've got a jar... It, it, I don't think it would translate. So I, I did it in I the I have a jar basic. of dirt in Japanese. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Try to say it with the tune of I've got a jar of dirt. Watashi wa yogore no bi no mote imasu. Watashi wa yogore no bi no mote imasu. I don't know. I want to I want to hear the wa yogore no bi no mote imasu. That for all the weebs learning Japanese. Let me see if I can look it up on YouTube. Japanese dub. I've got a jar of dirt. Watashi wa yogore no bi no mote imasu. Look it up, dude. Okay, hold up. Uh, I've got a jar of dirt. Japanese, Japanese <laughs> dub. There's no way. Wait, what do you mean there's no way? They fucking... <gasps> Jackal Sparrow. <laughs> Oh, he says this is a jar of dirt in this scene. Kore wa... Tsuchi da. Tsuchi no heta bin da. Bin? Did he say it? Wait. Tsuchi no bin ga yaku ni tatsu. Bin? Yeah. Iranai te yun nara kaeshita kure. Wait. 
じゃあ役に立つ<笑> oh, yeah. Was that it? Yeah, that was it He said bean Oh, wait, wait Wait a second This is just the scene Uh This is, I've got a jar of dirt in different languages. In which language we got? <laughs> I like that's the voice of Jack Sparrow, though. Man. Russian. Here we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next is <laughs> this one Portuguese? Italian. Italian. Ooh. Well, okay, so bossing over here. And then this next one's gonna be. Ger uh, I don't want to listen to German. Mm -hmm. Gross. This is French. French? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds drunk. It's my impression of a French Hindi. Friend. Hindi, okay. I'm be honest, dude. That also, that that could have been like like fifty different languages, right? Portuguese. There. What did you just say? What? Sounds like a fucking bossa nova song by Gilberto. I'm kind of disappointed there was no like Chinese. Or well, Japanese. we're mainly just getting European languages here. Let's let's yeah. see something new. Well, can we get some uh, Khmer? No. Or some Kosi? No, I did as much as. As the internet will let me for today. Wait, hold on. What are you looking up? I'm just seeing if they're if you, the the language with the clicks from Africa. No, I don't think a movie has from America has ever been dubbed in in, in that language. In Kosa, yeah, X H O S A. It's 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 like Kosa Kosa. I, I don't know. I, I it's hard to say because I you know I didn't grow up speaking. With that that tongue, but it's X H O S A. It's a really cool language. It's from uh, what country is it from? It's um South Africa. Okay. Steve Harvey cannot pronounce the click and goals. Oh, that's really hard, dude. I can't. I can't do it. Anyway, um, thank you guys for listening. Probably the best way to uh, yeah. You want to try? No. Okay. Well, um. It's been... Uh, I'm not ending episode 250 with the fucking fart. Yeah, I mean... It, it, dude, it, how long has it been? It's been too many. Has it been like 20 plus episodes it, 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 with it, a fart at the end? It's had to have been, dude. Like, like in the... I try... I, recent ones, I've been like, I'm going to use the music, but then I'm like, nah, I'll put the fart instead. And then I'm like, oh, but then you do the same thing. So it's literally like... This a whole era of the podcast with the fart. How... It's a big era. I'm not doing... It, this is a special episode. Halfway to 500. A quarter to a thousand. I'm not doing it. You give me that look like it's about to come in. It's not about to come in. The music's coming in right now. It's. Not, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sure the music's coming in right it now. It is. People will hear it and they'll be like, oh, there's the music. Oh, yeah, Matt. I'm I'm. I'm sure the music's coming in right it's now. It's crescendoing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs>
the balls, Eagle more like. You know what I'm nice. saying? And men, there's nothing worse than the ingrown hairs when you get down to the skin while shaving, especially when it's summer bod season. It's time to get ready for white boy summer by going to manscaped.com slash super mega. I just love using it, dude. I, I can't stop. I'm addicted. You know, just having a wonderfully just just hairless package attracts all the men women he ryan actually does have a legitimate uh psychological and physical addiction to shaving his balls with the new manscaped uh lawnmower 4.0 and let me tell you about that the lawnmower 4.0 electric trimmer is just in time for post covid summer and your pubes don't stand a chance because the lawnmower trademark 4.0 is the greatest piece of glizzy grooming engineering the world has ever seen and uh ryan why, why, don't, you, why don't you tell them what else uh what, what the what the what the three step with why don't you tell them what yeah, the, three- yeah, the, the manscaped ultra smooth package mm-hmm. oh well it's a three-step kit to make your package the perfect package step one crop exfoliator infused with ingredients that help reduce the risk of ingrown hairs in your delicate places step two Crop Gel. See where you're shaving with our unique clear shaving gel just for the groin. With four essential oils, it's like a spa treatment every time you shave. Yeah, it is. And now for step three. Oh. It's time to shave. Nice. Woo! So bottom line is you can get 20% off plus free shipping with the oh. unique URL manscaped.com slash superman. Super That's 20% off plus free shipping with the unique URL manscaped.com slash superman. Trim your chesticles with the besticles with Manscaped. Manscaped. 